All right, so we're going to build a or create a work order for a PM06. Now, PM06 is for project work orders. That means uh, maybe you're an engineer unit or something else needs to be fixed and you need to create a work order to capture hours for something outside of a piece of equipment that has a serial number is in, uh, and is not within your equip sit. That's what this video is going to go over. Before we get too far into it, if this is your first video, please go down to the subscribe button, click on it so that you can uh, help support the channel. Uh, hit the bell notification so that you get notified when new videos come out because as much as I try to be on a schedule, uh, it doesn't always work. Uh, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below if you have any questions or concerns. And let's go ahead and dive into it. All right, so a project work order is for buildings or structures or, I mean, it could be anything that is not on your equipment sit situation and does not have a serial number is when you're going to use a PM06. Now, what I've seen PM06 is for you used for is for supply shortages and what they do is they create the work order for a supply shortage so that they have a work order to reference all of those orders with and it makes it a little easier to track you can do that there's nothing gonna hurt from doing that the key is to make sure that you close out that work order in the end uh, i've seen in the past where they don't get closed out and they just keep eating up time into the thousands because people forget about them so Today I'm going to show you how to dig in and create that uh, PM06 and at least do it the right way and then you can order your parts or whatever you need to do from there. Alright, let's get into it. Alright, so the first thing we want to do is click on our little box up here and put it India Whiskey 31. So that's iWhiskey 31. We're going to create, and there it is, it's already popped up for me, so PM06. Uh, we don't need anything else. We go down here and put in the plant location. So it's going to be 2000 and then we're putting in army and then you just hit enter and it's going to come up this. So what we want to do is I'm going to put test, but you could be, uh, we'll say test shortages, shortages, test, however you want to put it. Scroll down before you do anything else and you see where it says non-standard work order fields. You need to click on not serialized. That's so that it isn't trying to find a serial number for a piece of equipment. And then from there you can go into your operations and you can put um, different tasks that you want, things of that nature. You can put in your components. This is where you'll order your parts. But before you can do that, we need to assign it to somewhere so we want to assign it hit enter and it's going to choose one we'll click this one and then we can go into our components and then you can see that it's highlighted so make sure that you put that in too and then it's going to give your customer phone code your unit information your dodac all that stuff and at that point you can go in here and place all of your orders once you're complete you can release the work order because otherwise it will not order your parts. And then click save because otherwise you're just practicing. All right, now that we're out of that, we're going to go into Z Saber. We want to go into Z Saber just so we can verify that it actually it opened and we have the work order working and it's operational. And there it is, very top one. And we just double click on it, make sure that it comes up. Everything seems to be in order. We can go in here and create our shortages. So right there is our one notification for it. Here is our components that we want to order. That is everything. All right, guys, it's a fairly simple process. Um, just make sure that you're using it properly and that whoever uses this and creates work orders that they go back in and close those work orders out. Now that we have Z Saber, it's a little easier for us to monitor those work orders so we can go in and close those old ones out because otherwise 
you're eating up your your time. So Z Saber does give you an option to see your work time, to see how much time it's taking you in different areas. So once we get to a point where everybody's on the same page and we start using those, it's going to be very important that you're doing that. Otherwise, you could be hurting yourself, not helping yourself by leaving those open and just floating out there. But that's neither here nor there. That's probably a long ways down the road. Most of you guys probably don't even care. But either way, hopefully this gives you something else. Again, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.